Sup? Damn. Listen. I'm tired of this shit! up. More fun for me. Yeah. Take it 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 now. Shot. Even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us. For real, though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear, they freaking transformed! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. You know, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. Makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, fellow adventurers. Our great journey has begun. Oh, 
Oh, sure, Mr. Hero. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, mm, medicinal herbs. Yeah, we need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Ugh, I'm telling you, the man's gone overboard. He's polluting a precious natural resource. Let me assure you, we're doing everything we can to stop him. Something happened over there? The river's gonna run yellow as mustard at this rate! I highly doubt it'll be changing colors, ma'am. Either way, you get that menace to relieve himself elsewhere! <clears throat> So we got a public pisser on our hands, huh? That's nasty. Bet that cop's not too happy about it. Excuse me. Hmm? Yeah. Hey. Uh huh. Hmm. Eh. Hey. Okay. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sore de wa. Yeah. going on there? This is a freaking dump. Uh, supposedly it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop? Looks more like a hoarder's house. They really getting customers like that? Hmm, I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times now. The owner said it was all merchandise, and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Merchandise, huh? Oh, it smells terrible, and it attracts all sorts of bugs, too. It's a nightmare. Oh, I wish they'd do something about it. Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. Hopefully it won't be long.
まで行かれますそうですか Okay. Yes. Ha ha ha. 
そうですかまたよろしく。What the hell's up with this guy? <sighs> Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys, let's do this! Roger. <laughs> Man, 
What was his problem? I swear, sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. Ah, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest? How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. I don't know. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. This place I call the Sujimon Center, it's a fully functional research lab. You mean your fully random office room? Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujimon are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujimon. Uh huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity, and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. Come on, hear me out for a minute. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. <laughs> now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes, so I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? 
Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. Hear that? A steward, Ichiban. I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. This really does help society, and I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it, then. So, how do we go about recording your data, anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all of the work. As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Hey, time to earn your key. Who are these goons? Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Uh, not sure where you're going with this, but... Let's go with red. Okay, then. Red it is. All right, you two, give red here some backup. Now, give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact, I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! Get ready for a Sujimon battle! Hey, hey, hey! You're going down. Yeah! Impressive. Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up and you'll be the best, like no one ever was. That's kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? That's the idea. 
defeat lots of Sujiman, collect lots of data, and, as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. So you gotta dispatch them all. Then you'll be the next Sujimon master. <laughs> Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. <phone rings> Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, who'll notice? <phone rings> Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's gotta be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Well, uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. I'll take the job. I'll start any time you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Yeah, but what about those two? <sighs> Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichi Cho!
Hmm. Oh. Well. Listen. Well, damn. Right. <laughs> okay. Hey. Sup? Yo. Hey. What? Go. <laughs> up <laughs> Oh Yes What's that? Yes. What? No. What? Yep. Hmm. Okay.
Yep. Hmm. What? Nah. there. That's Nanoha. 
Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoa. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? We can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Oh, seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. See the transaction go down. Somehow I think we have two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you ten days from now, we can carry out the procedure. But maybe we don't even deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. They want Dad to have peace. But does it have to be? That's true, but you shouldn't cheap out. After all, don't you see the that's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's... Oh? <laughs> First timer, huh? Two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nano Hassan's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. Oh, hey! Ow! Uh, uh, sorry. Hey, old man. Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how you gonna make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast!
Mercy now. You're in it now. Now I'm in now. Don't get caught with like this. A little first aid. Thanks, yo. That's it's a good time. Yo. Yeah. Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks' home. Pretty classy building, huh? 
It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nanoha's been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. And then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Oh shit. It's English. Don't worry! What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? <sighs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right! Go, go, go! Go your way! And believe in yourself! Oh, all right, thank you. You are welcome! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh, this is a school? Ouna Barra Vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty! Fifty? For real? That's crazy! I have, like, none. 
You gotta change that, man. Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know. Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality, don't you? Well, when you put it that way, sure. Great! Then let's get you signed up right away. Uh, okay. Huh. So this is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> yeah. Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right! He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And, of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> so that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. <laughs> so my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Yakoshi-san is lending us her precious time, so don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onibara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, What's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? Anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. Kasuga-san, are you ready to start your trial lesson? Yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Right this way. Which exam would you like to take? This one? Make sure you have a pencil.
that should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Whew, not bad for your first time, but long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. This guy never shuts up, does he? What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, akoshi san I know I do. Okay, you've made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine-tuning. Might as well find out, right? That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? Please let me know when you've found a course that interests you. Sure. But once I figure out where to start. I gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You? Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, ikari san By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old shrub head to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart, and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga-san... Welcome to the start of your future.
ありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませ。Please take one. Huh? Hey, what you got there? Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Oh, 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 oh. Hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on. First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. I uh, saw your ad. Says something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes, thank you. You are the very first. So this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right. And uh, mm, you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? No, nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. <laughs> most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out for this first free collar thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meet-up deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here for free. Whoa, really? No, oh, really, I swear. Sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? <laughs> oh, what the? Who the heck are you? Are you, uh, Adachi Sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is is that a sex shop? 
<laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. You're going down. Cool. Who don't get cocky? Wanna fight? For the finish, sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? <laughs> We're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then, goodbye. just happened here fuck if i know man why is it gotta be so hard to get laid hound mates huh well it ain't free and i'm not sure it's sexy but i think i can see the appeal <laughs> charge 5 million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called The Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Mm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees, but once they clock out, I can't help them but I hate that especially the girls who have such troubled pasts you never know if they're doing okay or not that's why I'm strict about how much time they take off I worry so you have a good reason to keep them working so much but here I thought you were just a huge asshole 
I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger, but if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? <sighs> and by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Well, depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please, even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbei and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! What's going on? I'm saying hand over the baby formula. You looking to lose some teeth? No, please. My baby's waiting for me. Like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. This, this, this is absurd. Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? They're shaking the guy down for baby formula. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. All right, guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always got to poke their nose into this shit. Okay, fine. We'll take it by force. Yeah.
Yo. Hi. Arigatouございます. Hmm? Eh. それでは Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> What the? Uh... You're the fuckers with the baby formula. Oh... Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes! Goodbye! Not so fast, Chief! You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys! Let's pacify this bitch. Sir! Come on, Kajun. Bring it on. Cool. Get a lie. 
fight. Yeah, I'm looking. You want to fight? What are you doing? Huh? Take care of your best. Please, you're my call. Apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well, actually... I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your... Uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Days a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. My names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys! Get these two some new baby formula, on the double! Uh, yes, sir! Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Oh, come on, you'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child, but all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures, very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp, so we need a little back pat. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? 
And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Huh? Me? That's right. No need to be shy. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. That's God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now, what say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper? Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. Yes, sir. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a- Hey! What the hell, man? Let me go! Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll- Oh. Hey. 
You ever thought about getting rid of all this trash? Yeah, but it's not just trash. It's memories of my wife. Memories? I used to run this place with my wife. We didn't make much, but life was good. Right. I heard this place used to be legit. Then one day, my wife collapsed while tending the store. By the time they found her, it was too late. And she passed on. Uh, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san. I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How much she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place, like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her! <laughs> I get how you feel, and I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? Uh, I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If 
anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh, Gomi-san. I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. Yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm going to take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. Yo. Huh? Huh? Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, Sonny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Nanba. How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. And just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Lakota. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh. What time are we having breakfast? Um, uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system, and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you'd let your mother drink out of them. Put some elbow grease into it, for goodness sake! Stop slacking off! Why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Mm, doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah. I don't know exactly what they ask, but I bet it's all about your family and social standing. A rumor has it, the program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? <sighs> no. Because how are we supposed to do that? Well, obviously, they're gonna have their best security on the excellent course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there, you need one of the full-timers keycards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! Yes, ma'am. Right away. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. That's what you need in a place this big. You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's, uh, off-limits to us contractors. Oh, damn it! I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up.
No need to be scared, ma'am. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Good night now. Okay. Okay. Huh? Hold on. What was that? No. Hmm? Yo. Hmm. What? Just remit that amount. Ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Oh. I see. Damn. Hold on.
this guy. This the place you're a regular at? Yep. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine. Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, 
Yes, it is. Now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? <laughs> Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Uh, you mind, though? I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. Hey, what's up with Namba? We barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only gonna be worse. Well, you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha-chan, that was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear, huh? Oh yeah, I never formally introduced myself. I'm Iroha Yanagi. I'm helping out at the bar. Nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Did he hire you to chat with the customers? Yep. I pull my weight around here. If your glass is empty, just give me a holler. I'll get you squared. Or if you just want to chat, I'm all ears. The customers who got to know me at my old bar actually used to call me Good Ear Iroha. So whenever you need an ear, I'm here to listen. Uh, sure, but what would I even tell you? I never got to come to these types of bars much. Whatever you want, really. You could even tell me about your dumb arguments with Adachi san. <laughs> You'd really want to hear that? Of course. I love hearing about the little stuff that makes people better friends. So, no subject too dull, no topic off limits, okay? By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? <laughs> Adachi-san, what's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender loving care. Sure, I don't mind bringing my own booze, but I wouldn't be hiding it. But then the bartender might find you out. Eh, I'd take the risk. I don't want to bother with trying to hide a drink while I'm having fun. Wish I could be so carefree. <laughs> well, now I have to buy you a drink, pal. That's what carefree people do. Hey, thanks. Speaking of money, 
What they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Hori no Uchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, and it was a nasty one. Robbery, a double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. A man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet. Burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. Kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's always a chance that the relatives will lie in the hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. And I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kasumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop, who told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horonouchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know... Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Horinouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man. But couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> you know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit. But it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> anyway, let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? that time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Oh, sorry, Iroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure, make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen, take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! 
What's the holdup? Let's go. Oh, sorry. Well, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. それでは
いらっしゃいませ。メイク。うん。テイスティ。ありがとうございました。This isn't break time. On to the next bathroom. You're even slower than yesterday. I'm going. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor. Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia. Here we go. You know. Most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? Dakota. This is Nanoha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. Damn. I didn't waste any time. What are you doing here? 
Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourselves now. Hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. I bet you got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms. Since you're from the Seiryu clan. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Well, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Bring it on! Yeah. Hi, I got this! Don't get caught! Grab her dad and get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas. For executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? Now that must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now, or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! You're welcome to try, but that would require you to walk out of here alive. Killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies! Not a loser! Okay. I got this! Yeah. 
Come on now. Don't get caught. Let's go. You're in it now. Let's go. Get serious. Okay, I got this. Watch this. Have fun with this. I'm up. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Say it again. Let all the residents go. I'm afraid I just can't do that. Then we'll do it. We'll move them all out. <laughs> oh, shit. It won't open. I activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want. But if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe the word, I'll kill you! So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So, you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe some things you didn't, too. <sighs> I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza, you accept consequences for your actions. So... Does this mean we have to go?
对。